Today I'm throwing test tiles in my new clay, which I'm pretty much certain now. I'm going to switch wholly to the PF580 from Scarva. Um, but, you know, if you've missed out on the saga of my clay, it's, the, the long story short is that uh, the KGM that I was using uh, started blistering on everything, and that's part of the reason why the shelves behind me are so empty. Is because I got rid of everything that was thrown in that clay. Um, because I'm moving to a new one, so I've kind of I've done a few sales of stuff, and I'm going to do one more. Well, sorry, sorry a few. I've done a sale of um, work, and I'm going to do one more, which is going to be a lucky dip. There's a I've just basically glazed everything that was um, that was on the shelves, and I'm going to completely sell off everything, uh, partly because I've got a new stamp from Laser Cuts, I'll link them below, a UK company that um, makes stamps amongst other things, which is actually a laser cutting company and they make the um, handle extruder dies for me as well. Uh, but I've redesigned my stamp based on the, the one that I had made for the Nudity collaboration mug uh, from a few weeks ago, because their logo looked better than mine did. Anyway, long story short, um, all my test tiles that I've still got, I shouldn't have cleaned, made the bat too wet there, which I sort of knew as I was doing it would be a bad idea, but um, I was trying to pick a side without, because I would use with dark clay last, so I don't want to contaminate it too much. But you can never really stick clay back to the same bat if it hasn't stuck the first time. That should be there. Uh, yeah, part of the reason that I quite like this clay over the other contender was that it's a bit stiffer. But this bag seems stiffer than normal, which means that I just very roughly wedged up a, a ball. I guess this is probably a kilo and a half. I didn't weigh it because it's just for test tiles. Normally I'd throw test tiles from all the gathered scraps that are kind of like failed pieces and reclaim really like that. But I haven't used enough of this clay to have spare clay to do that with. So I'm not too precious about how well I throw test tiles. Although this clay is a bit stiffer than I would like for this process because it can be a bit unforgiving if you don't get it well centred to start. So basically what I do for my test tiles is I throw them as an inverted T. Um, there are more kind of complete videos of the process elsewhere on the channel. Uh, it's slightly wobbly. But um, yeah, so I just, in theory, centre a ball of clay and then bring the whole mass of it out. And this was too stiff, I shouldn't have gone as early as I did. When you brace against the wheel, which you can still do thrown standing up, uh, and I find it really helps if you can get properly down to the wheel head, so you can see, on oh, to the wheel head, to the back. But you want to go down as much as you want to go out. If you leave a small amount of clay on the surface, it starts to get uneven. And it, for some reason it just seems to go so much smoother if you really get your nail pushed down into the wheel head which if you do too many times in a row will actually wear the nail out but um, for this is fine. So what I've got now is a relatively well centred mass of clay out at the rim and then I'll just try and neaten it up. It's worth remembering and I often forget just how much faster the clay is moving out here than it would be at the centre. So you need a much slower wheel head 
which incidentally is one of the things this version of this this gut wheel in particular is good at got better slow speed control and interestingly enough this is their version with better slow speed control but actually it's it's more even than my old wheel was uh, but my old wheel could go slower than this I mean not that my old wheel had a proper controller it was a lathe controller because it was all kind of it's an old wheel bodged together but I'm very glad I went for this version I wasn't sure how much better than my old wheel the slow speed control would be but actually I think if I'd have gone for the standard one I'd have missed just how slow my old wheel could go very useful for Northless on big pieces anyway so that is by the by I basically just want to bring clay in and then and what I will do is I will set this aside to firm up overnight I will add black slip on the inside so I can see what my glazes look like over black slip I will add a bit of slip texture on the outside so I can see what, how my glazes behave over texture so you're getting quite a lot of information from a single test tile um, I will carve a small notch in, in fact I might do that in a second it probably is easier, I haven't decided whether it's easier to do it now or um, when the clay's firmed up a fraction but if you carve a small notch in the base of the upright um, you can snap them off the foot which makes storing them much easier take up a lot less space and just because they'll tessellate better and sit flatter so those are the few kind of things that I've I change about my test tiles other than that this is pretty much how you do them if you throw them on a wheel most people are doing them this way um, And then yeah, once they've foamed up a bit, I will come back with a bluntish knife and just slice down. That's why I'm throwing on this bat rather than one of my nicer Hartley and Noble ones because I will be cutting down into it with, well not into it, but cutting down to it with a knife. And so it's not worth using a nice bat for this just because if you are going to damage the surface slightly you might as well damage the surface of a bat you don't particularly like so yeah, set this aside, come back tomorrow, slice it up